Hi, my name is Kelsey from the University of Rhode Island Nutrition Education Program. Today we're going to be talking about fruits and vegetables. Remember the USDA MyPlate? It has five food groups. Fruits, vegetables, grains, protein, and the dairy group. We want to make half our plate fruits and vegetables. So today, we're going to just focus on those two food groups. Each day, you need at least two cups of fruits and two cups of vegetables. As you get older, middle school into adulthood, you want to have at least two cups of fruit and three cups of vegetables every day. Let's talk about what counts as a cup. Here I have a measuring cup. One apple, one banana, one orange counts as a cup. Clementines, two counts as a cup. This is because they're smaller. Dried fruit, like raisins, a half a cup equals a cup. This is because when fruit is dried, it shrivels down, so we need less to equal that cup. Strawberries or grapes, these are a little different. You can count about eight to 10 strawberries or 20 to 30 grapes, which is about a cup, or you can always use that measuring cup, because a lot of times, grapes and strawberries may be bigger or smaller, depending on where and when you buy them. Next, we have mixed fruit, a cup is a cup. When it comes to fruit cups, they're usually sold in a half a cup or cup servings in the store. As for vegetables, a cup is about a cup, raw, cooked, frozen, or canned. Leafy greens, two cups equals a cup. That's because there's a lot of room for air, so we need a little extra. Let's go ahead and talk about how we can get at least two cups of fruit and at least two cups of vegetables in our day. In front of me, I have an example of a breakfast, a lunch, and a dinner that you might have. If you notice up here, there's not a lot of color and it looks pretty boring. There's no fruits and vegetables on any of my plates. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. For breakfast, I have an English muffin with peanut butter. I could go ahead and add some fruit. Maybe a cup of mixed fruit. With my turkey sandwich I have for lunch, maybe I want to add some vegetables to this. Maybe a half a cup of cucumbers and a half a cup of carrots. With my stir fry dinner, chicken and brown rice, maybe I could add some mixed vegetables. Here I actually have frozen vegetables, which are just as good for you as fresh vegetables. Here I added a cup. And maybe after dinner or with my dinner, I had a cup of strawberries on the side. Let's go ahead and see if I had at least two cups of fruit and two cups of vegetables with my breakfast, lunch, and dinner that day. Let's start with fruit. I have a cup of mixed fruit with breakfast and I have a cup of strawberries with dinner. One plus one equals two. I have my two cups. Now for vegetables. With my lunch, I have a half a cup of carrots and a half a cup of cucumbers. This equals one. And with dinner, I have a cup of my mixed vegetables. One plus a half plus a half equals two. In this day, with my breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I got two cups of fruit and two cups of vegetables. Now, if you're in middle school or older or adulthood, or even when you're young, remember you need at least two cups of fruit and two cups of vegetables. As you get older, three cups of vegetables and two cups of fruit. Now, if I add snacks to my day, I can add even more fruits and vegetables. Remember with snacks, we want at least two food groups and one of them to be a fruit or a vegetable. Let's say we add something like nuts and an apple. This would give me another cup of fruit. Later on in our day, maybe we decide to have some cheese with peppers, another cup of vegetables. Therefore, overall in this day, I would have three cups of fruit and three cups of vegetables. Tons of color and tons of variety. Remember, eat a lot of color and a lot of variety for a delicious day. We want to eat the rainbow. This means eating many different color fruits and vegetables. It would be hard to eat every single color every single day, but if you aim to eat all the colors within your week, that would be a great goal. Let's go ahead and talk about why we want to eat different colors and what each color does to help our bodies. First, we have red. Red fruit and vegetables help keep our heart strong. Examples I have today are apples, red pears, watermelon, tomatoes, strawberries, and red peppers. Next, we have yellow and orange. Yellow and orange fruits and vegetables keep our eyes and our skin healthy, and they help prevent us from getting colds. Examples are pineapple, peaches, 
yellow peppers, oranges, sweet potatoes, squash, and cantaloupe. Next, we have green. Green fruit and vegetables are good for our tummy. They help with digestion. This means food running through our bodies to help keep us going to the bathroom and feeling good. Examples of green fruits and vegetables are green pears, green apples, melon, green grapes, cucumbers, kiwi, lettuce, spinach, and broccoli. Next, we have purple and blue. Purple and blue fruits and vegetables help us think and remember. Some examples are eggplant, plums, grapes, blueberries, blackberries, beets, onions, and purple cabbage. Lastly, we have brown, white, and tan fruits and vegetables. They help keep our muscles strong and keep our body safe against germs. Some examples I have today are onions, mushrooms, potatoes, bananas, remember we eat the white part of the banana, and cauliflower. Let's go ahead and review what we talked about today. The three most important things to remember are, one, make sure that fruits and vegetables are filling up at least half of your plate every day. Two, make sure that you're getting at least two cups of fruit and two cups of vegetables every day. For older children, middle school, and into adulthood, you wanna to try to get at least two cups of fruit and three cups of vegetables every day. Three, make sure that you're eating the rainbow. This means a variety of fruits and vegetables because they all do different things to help your body stay healthy and strong. Remember, red fruit and vegetables help keep your heart strong. Yellow and orange help your eyes and they also help your skin stay healthy. Green help your tummy and help food digest and move through your body to keep you going to the bathroom and feeling good. Purple and blue help you think and remember. And white, brown, and tan, they're good for your muscles and they help you fight against germs. Thank you so much for watching. This is Kelsey from the University of Rhode Island Nutrition Education Program. I hope you enjoyed the video today and found it helpful and will join us for more. Thank you.